Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is second part of our RAID video tutorial. And now we will continue our discussion. Uh, we have already created our hard drives and we can check that with fdisk shell uh, grep sd asterisk and then pipe sign again and less. So we already have SDB, SDC, and STD drives. Okay, and we already examined with MDADM dash dash examine slash dev SDB, dev SDC, and dev SD. D that they are RAID devices and uh, the system is type FD and the space we are using right now it's only 2 GB but it's same for all the drives okay so now let's create our first RAID device let me clear the screen and since we will we are covering RAID mirrors so we will use MDADM dash dash create then the our first device is mirror device zero. Uh, zero is the first device. Uh, then you can name it to MD1, first uh, second drive if you have. But since this is our first rate device, we will call it MD0. And then we need to mention the level. And since we are using mirror, it will be mirror. You can also use level one. It's the same as mirror. And then how many RAID uh, devices we are going to use and we are going to use at this time two devices and those two devices are SDB1 and device SDC1 but that's it if you press enter now it will ask uh, note this array has metadata at the start and may not be suitable uh, if you plan to store like uh, Anyway, with new devices, I, I don't think that it's going to ask you these things. But anyway, yes, we need to continue. Type yes. And that's it. Uh, MDADM array slash dev MD0 started. And now we can check it by uh, cat slash proc MD stat. And there we are. MD0 active, RAID 1, and it has sdc1 and sdb1 okay now to check if this device is available in the devices group uh, slash dev and grab md and there we have it now let's check the details mdadm dash dash detail and slash dev md0 and it will give us a uh, lot of details we can see that raid level is raid 1 and the state is clean active devices are 2 working devices are 2 and basically both devices sdb1 and sdc1 are active and are in our in synchronization mode so let's create file system on these devices. So to make file system, we'll use mkfs. Dot, let's create ext4 on device md0. Press enter. And there we have it. And let's create, uh, let's go to opt and create raid one directory and let's mount hyphen t ext4 device md0 to slash opt raid one okay and now if we use df hyphen h slash opt raid one we can see that the size it's is 2.0 uh, gigabytes uh, this is because it's in mirroring mode and that's why it's not showing us 4 gigabytes it's only showing us 2 GB okay let's create a file in this um, 
and lost plus found can show uh, shows that it's a hard drive okay raid txt dot txt um, this is my raid device okay and now uh, let's try to fail uh, one device and see that if this file uh, will be intact so to fail a device I'm just going to use fail and device is MD0 and let's fail our first SDB1 press enter and you can see that it suddenly went into the faulty state and now uh, let me check mdadm dash dash detail to device md0 and it will reveal that one device is now active and one is failed device so we don't have a spare device at the moment uh, so this is how the device has failed and let me remove this device also so to remove it mdadm remove slash md0 device stb1 okay so now if we just and now we can see that there is no failed device only active devices one let me go out and let's see that if our file is, is still intact okay but first uh, let me I show you mdadm dash dash detail slash dev md zero and at the very bottom we can see that only there is one device and that's stc1 okay so opt and folder is there and wow our file is still intact cat the content and there it is let me go in this add some more content wow our device is still here okay sounds good save and exit and this clearly shows us the power of raid and this video is getting lengthy so let's continue our discussion in next video where we will add a spare device in our raid. Thank you.